Are you guys rad enough to accept the ultimate 8-bit challenge on Halloween night? Again? Haunted Halloween 86 The Curse of Possum Hollow is a brand new NES homebrew game that is published by Retrotainment Games and is now available on your Nintendo Switch. Wow, talking about coming full circle. This is a platformer beat-em-up style game and is a sequel to Haunted Halloween 85 and was originally released on cartridge in October of 2016 for the original Nintendo Entertainment System. I actually owned both copies for the original NES and absolutely fell in love with it when it came out back in the day. And I was ecstatic when I heard it was coming to the Nintendo Switch. It's great to see Retro is back and a younger generation can enjoy this game. Much like when I was a kid growing up getting excited for a new NES game to come out. Possum Hollow 1986. The year has been quiet. Everything seemed to be back to normal after last year's terrifying events. No one talked about what happened in 85, but it was on everyone's mind as cold winds swept back through the small town. Halloween was approaching. Evil was stirring in the depths below, the streets and homes of the town. On Halloween, it was about to surface. It would be a night of tricks, not treats, for Possum Hollow kids and the rest of its residents. Haunted Halloween 86 has a lot more going on than its predecessor. You can utilize tag team technology to swap between the two playable characters, Donnie and Tammy, on the fly throughout the game by hitting the select button. They both have different skills and health meters, so it helps to use this as a tactic to stay alive longer and not turn into a zombie. The combat system has been completely overhauled from the original and now includes many powerful new attack moves, defense moves, and evasive moves. You get to unlock these abilities throughout the game by finding pieces of a torn map. You can then choose which ability you want to unlock. Now you always start with the double jump, so it helps with the platforming part of the game, making those hard to clear gaps a bit easier to deal with. Now there are many new enemies to encounter along the way that have been assembled by Haunted Harry. Adult zombies who can only be killed by removing their head. Kid zombies. Substance beast. Dead trail ants. Bonefish. Killer crows that dive bomb you from the skies. Creepy claws. Erratic rats. And hell heads who swoop in in a pattern much like the dreadful Medusa heads from Castlevania. But all these monsters don't stand a chance against Donnie and Tammy because you got the moves. Now this is based on an NES game, so the main buttons you use are B and A. A lets your character jump and B punches. You hit select to switch between the two characters and start will pause the game. Holding up and hitting B you can perform an uppercut if you're Donnie and a high kick if you're Tammy. When you punch an enemy while running at them, it will knock the enemy back some, since your punch now has some force behind it. It's great that they took this into account when designing the game. Like I said earlier, you'll unlock more moves as times go on, but this is all you really need to beat down those monsters and take back Possum Hollow. Dead. The graphics in this game are, well, 8-bit because it's based on a Nintendo game. There are plenty of games on the eShop that sport this style, but these are unique because it actually will work on an NES system, so it's limited to what the actual Nintendo could handle. That's not to say it looks bad, they certainly push those graphics to the limit with some things like split-screen scrolling for parallaxing, animated backgrounds, and interactive background objects. You can find fun Easter eggs in the backgrounds as well, like this sign in the background for Biff's used cars, a reference to Back to the Future. The soundtrack for this game was composed by Human Thomas, who worked on Haunted Halloween 85 and Scramble on NES. It has a great vibe that fits well with the game. Some tracks have that early Nintendo vibe you would hear from Mega Man or Batman. It keeps each area fresh and sets the tone for what's to come. So overall this hits the mark for a great sequel and a fun platformer beat-em-up game. 
If you enjoyed playing NES growing up, or still do, I encourage you to check out this game. Whether here on the Switch, or on Steam, Xbox One, or the original NES system. But at least with the Switch, you can play it docked on your TV screen or grab it and take it on the go to take back Possum Hollow. Now this is available on the eShop for $9.99 and I think it's a great deal. Hopefully you guys decide you want to pick this one up and give it a go for Halloween or any time of the year. There'll be a link in the description down below in case you guys want to grab a physical copy of the game to Retrotainment's site. Well guys, I hope you have a happy Halloween and enjoy the rest of your day. As always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shivy, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWiz X, Retro Bros, Matthew Hannigan, Die Hard Gamer Bros, Alex Koz, and everyone on my Patreon. Link below if you want to join. And I'll see you later.